Honey, should there be one light or two lights or three lights? Should the left light be on or the right light be on or both lights be on or should they both be off? I can't tell if the fridge is working. Hi, this is Gyro Gearloose with another installation of RV Hacking on the Cheap. Today we're going to be discussing the ridiculous lights on the RV refrigerator. On mine, because it's a, the base model, fairly inexpensive as they go, which is to say ridiculously expensive, both lights on my fridge are orange. So, unless you could read the label, you can't tell whether it's telling you your fridge is about to explode or running perfectly. Yes, I know you could read the labels. Frequently, lighting is dimmer, and you don't want to turn on the light just to check your paranoia of whether the fridge is actually cooling. So today we're going to do one of the cheapest modifications I've done on my trailer to date, other than the free ones. This, this mod is going to cost approximately one penny. Maybe two pennies, if you find an expensive source for new LEDs. In order to do this mod, all we're going to do is pop off the control panel, which is this headpiece on top of the fridge. Once you've popped off the head panel, disconnect the quick disconnect here and remove each of the mounting screws from the panel. That lets you work on the circuit board. And now if you look carefully, you can see the two LEDs coming through the front panel here. Here's another view of that circuit board with the backs of the LEDs coming up through. Note there are two poles on each LED and also note which polarity they are as you remove them. Sometimes noted by the uh, longer lead on the LED. The factory ones were already soldered in place so you couldn't tell the polarity there. But if you look very carefully at the LEDs you'll note that one side of the LED is actually bigger than the other inside of the actual light emitting diode. So copy that from how the factory did it and you should be all set. To begin we're simply going to take a soldering iron and remove each of the LED solder points. Just apply your soldering iron to each melt the solder, and pull the LED off the panel. To replace them, simply place new LEDs up through those holes and re-solder them. Once you've done your soldering, put the panel back in place with those two screws, reconnect that quick disconnect, and snap your panel back in place. Here the panel is back in place, and let's see what we have. The objective was to make the LEDs unambiguous so that you could tell what mode the fridge is in at a glance, even in dimmer light. That's pretty obvious. A big green light for AC power. As you can see, a big red light comes on now if the propane fails. A very obvious, fairly bright red LED tells me there's something wrong. Green for good, red for bad. Here's both lights on, just so you can compare. They are intentionally brighter than the original factory LEDs, and they're colored, so you can tell what's going on. I briefly thought of adding another third LED to this panel so I could tell if the entire refrigerator was turned on or not because all lights off is either completely off and you're warming up or it could indicate running perfectly when you're on propane. However, there's an easy solution to know when the refrigerator is on or not. Right now it is turned off and when we look inside, it's dark. If the fridge is on, you have a light inside. So, there's your indicator. No soldering necessary. This has been Gyro Gearloose with RV Hacking on the Cheap. I hope you've enjoyed this installment. We'll see you next time.